Good evening and welcome to another edition of One to Tuesday, our fitness session that's inspired by boxing or exercise fitness. Tonight's session, we are going to box three minute rounds with a one minute rest in between. Those three minute rounds are broken down into six 30 second segments. So you're going to do 30 seconds of an exercise, 30 seconds of shadow boxing, and each round is going to have a certain focus for the exercise. So round one is a leg or lower body focus, round two is an ab or postural focus, and round three will be the upper body focus. Yeah, so 30 seconds of exercise, 30 seconds of shadow boxing. Izzy's going to do the exercise with you, and we're going to work through the shadow boxing. So round one is squats, lunges, and squat jumps. For the exercise. Here it is. Everyone ready at home? Off we go. So 30 seconds of squats just to get us working. Yeah, so we're going as low as we can. If we can match Izzy, get our hips below our knees, fantastic. Yeah, we're just going as low as your mobility allows. If we can't get the hips pull the knees, great work. Just keep working, coming up with 30 seconds of shadow boxing. Three, two, one. So again, just nice and light if you have got space at home, just moving the hands. Yeah, just get a rhythm going and just work it through. If you have got some room at home, you might move as you throw shots. Just work it through. Yeah, so again, nice rhythm on the shadow boxing just to keep our heart rate going and our body working. Into the lunges, 30 seconds of lunges for the second exercise. Brilliant, is it? It's a nice long stride so both knees can bend through 90 degrees and then we drive ourselves off that lead leg. Yeah, push ourselves back to a standing position. Great picture, is he? And then into shadow boxing again. So again, just 30 seconds. If you haven't got that much space, wherever you're working out tonight, just stand still. Just keep my hands moving. If you have got space to move around the kitchen or the garden, the garage, wherever you're working out, yeah, just do a couple of shots and then move as you would if it was a boxing ring or MMA octagon. And then squat jumps to finish our exercise portion of round one. That's it, really fizzy. So we're pushing as high as we can so the feet are leaving the floor. That's it, keep working, really work, fizzy. Keep working at home, keep driving those legs, pushing it through. Almost there, almost there. Really well done. And then the last 30 seconds for this round, back in for our shadow boxing. Again, just nice and loose, nice and relaxed with the hands. As we move around. Yeah, so again, move around if you can, just to get a rhythm of flow. Keep it working through the last couple of seconds. So, one minute's rest. Let's have a little drink, have a breather. So, again, get your breath back, ready for round two. So, just as you're having your rest, your minute's break just talk through the exercises. So round two is an ab or postural focus. So we've got obliques as our first exercise, V-sits and then leg raises. So those are the three exercises we're going to do for round two. In this first without a shadow boxing as we've done for round one. So 15 seconds left of our rest. So 
10 second counter, so oblique sit ups. Oblique sit ups are our first exercise. We go, so fingers on the temples, or near the temples, rotating as we come up, opposite elbow touches opposite knee. So we get a good rotation in using the sides of the stomach. We've done this here, get good control, good picture. Keep working it up. 10 seconds left for our obliques. Excellent work, that's it. Keep it going, keep it going, doing really well. Keep working it up. And into our shadow boxing. So again, just nice and loose, just get the hands moving. Again, yeah, rotating the body through the hips, the shoulders. So this is that posture work, that arm work's important. Yeah, so we're strong in our posture as we're moving. So we produce that power in the punches. Moving through, just moving the hands. V sits are coming up next. So, hands behind the head coming up. Single leg just allows us to get our back as far off the mat, off the floor as we can. Reaching for those toes. That's it, we're busy. Strong, our stomach, our chest. Meet now a quad. Make a V. In now a shallow boxing again. Again, just nice and loose. Moving around. If we want to. Yeah, just keep it working, just keep those hands moving. Doesn't matter where we are. Yeah, if we're moving around. Or if we just stood still. Yeah, it's just about that movement, that rhythm, that flow. And then just to finish, the leg raises. So if you want to put your hands on your bum like his ears or out to the side. And the legs as straight as you can. Up to 90 degrees to your hip. And then six inches off the floor. Great control, isn't it? Working in all 30 seconds, left of the round, finishing with our shadow boxing. So again, just transitioning through, a little bit of movement, just to give your arms a rest. And then into some combinations, just to keep our heart rate nice and high. As we work through, 10 seconds left of the round. Keep those hands moving nice and loose in the shoulders. So one minute of rest, go and grab a drink. If you want to sit down and catch your breath, you can do, or if you have space at home, you might want to have just a little walk around like I'm doing now. So nice deep breathing, just to bring the heart rate down. We're ready to shoot it back up again. For round three, which is a leg, oh sorry, upper body focus. Round three, upper body focus. So we have press ups, a sundar press up, and then a hand walk press up as our three exercises. So normal press ups, a sundar press up, press up, and then we move our hands to the left and right, press up, back to the center, press up, and then we just keep moving left and right, and then hand walk press ups. Yeah, we've done it before. So. Here we come, here's your favourite press ups. Off we go. So, 30 seconds of press ups. So, it's a bit of a tough one. Yeah, three sets of upper body work press ups. So, if you want to modify your press ups like Izzy's doing, it's absolutely fine. Yeah, it just allows us to work for about 30 seconds. If you are doing a full press up, brilliant. But if we need to modify, Absolutely fine. The idea is we'll keep working for the 30 seconds. Brilliant, well done, Lizzie. And then 30 seconds of shadow boxing again. So this will be a really tough round on the upper body, the shoulders, the chest, the back. Press up to the shadow boxing. It's going to be difficult. Let's see if we can just keep that rhythm, that little bit of flow 
as we work through, yeah, so again, just nice and light with the hands, just keep them moving. So Sundar press-ups, Sundar press-ups this time. So yeah, press-up, we just move our hands. So yeah, it's just a little bit more coordination, a little bit of emphasis on stability when we're moving through, transitioning through the movement. Great picture, Lizzie, well done. Keep like that, great work. Almost there. One more. <laughs> Excellent, that's good. Again, just 30 seconds shadow boxing, so just transitioning through. Once we're on our feet, yeah, just moving around. Just working it through. Just keep those hands moving. Yeah, those shoulders will start to be fatiguing now, especially after those press ups. So keep the hands moving. And then a hand walk press up. So in the standing position, walk the hands out, press up, and then walk the hands back. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, if you can't quite do the mobility, you might need to bend your knees as you walk out like I would. I'm sure you're not flexible these days. Yeah, Izzy, good for the better flexibility of the hamstrings so we can keep the legs relatively straight as she transitions to great work on this. And then final 30 seconds, that's all right. Final 30 seconds now. Yeah. Keep that chest, that shoulder, back muscles working. It's round three, it'll be a tough one on the upper body. But again, just working through. Keep those hands moving. Working it through. And rest there. So, minutes rest. Just while you're resting, I'll recap the session. So, we've just boxed three rounds. So, each round had an emphasis. So, round one was the lower body, the legs. Round two was posture, abs. Round three was upper body. So depending on your fitness level, you might decide that's your session doing it before this evening if you're new to fitness training. You might decide to replay the video, box another three rounds, or if you really want to challenge yourself, can you box another six? Go through that routine two more times. Hopefully you've enjoyed that session. Yeah, it's got your heart rate going, your muscles working, and we will see you again for next uh, see you again next week, sorry, for another one, two, Tuesday.